Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in again to the Sportsman's Journal. Sarah and I are at one of our favorite places in the world, mm -hmm. and that's Tamarack Island the World Loose Lodge yep. on beautiful Lake of the Woods. There you got it, right there yep. on your shirt. I got some new swag. And guess what we're going after this week? What? Couldn't be more excited. Oh, I know the answer. <laughs> we're going after big slab crappies. I'm super excited. Yes, we are. Yes, we've heard that the crappies have started to stack up. It's kind of uh, fast and furious action oriented. We knew we wanted to get in on it. Yep. So we are really excited. We just got here, um, you know, kind of a leisurely afternoon for us today. Todd's cooking dinner tonight. Todd's cooking and dinner. And tomorrow night, and we're tomorrow excited. Night. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited That's a lot to it. get excited for, Todd. It is. When Todd and, and the family make a meal for you, it's, it is amazing. It is really good. There's so much to eat and it's so good. We're just gonna hang out in the lodge That's one of the today. big highlights. And then tomorrow we're hitting the water first thing. Yep. I don't know if Tyler's gonna sleep tonight. I might not. My, how, my heart right excited. now is pounding almost out of my... You and can probably see it on the old striker shirt. Not only are we going after Tyler's favorite crappies, yep. but we're using uh, Northland's rigged gumball. New stuff from Northland for panfish. We're excited the to see how body. it works. Yeah, I'm excited. It's got the look. We, we know it that does. that type of, it that looks type delicious of plastic works. It delicious if you are a crappie. But we're going to try it. These are pre-rigged, easy to use. Grab them out of the package, tie them on, catch fish. We're excited. Go all day. And the cool thing about right now around Tamak with crappies is that it's action-oriented fishing. Very. Like Sarah said, the fish are stacked. But we're gonna break down how to kind of get around the little ones, focus on the big ones. We yeah. haven't done this in a couple years, so that's another thing that's exciting. We're really excited. I've missed about it for the last yeah. couple years. Yeah. Really excited. We are. So stay tuned. We will be right back after a word from our partners. This segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Stryker. For their full lineup of UPF gear, check out strikerbrands.com. just got out to our spot. We passed several boats that are fishing right when you get in and we're coming out a little bit farther away from the congregation of boats trying to find, there's big stacks of crappies in here. We know that from past experience. And we're trying to get away from those big stacks of crappies kind of out where maybe the big loners are right. roaming. Yeah, we're, we're gonna see tons and tons of crappies. We're gonna catch a lot of crappies today. There's no question about it. But the key thing that we've learned fishing Tamarack so many times for crappies is, like Sarah said, the little guys are kind of suspended and they're in big balls, but they're not real big. And you pick them up everywhere. You, you, you got potato chip everywhere. size, yep. you know, to nine, 10 inches. Right. We, and we want, we want those 11, 12, 13s, 14s. We want those big dogs. And they are usually underneath those pods, really close relating to the bottom. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna fan cast the area. We're not gonna vertical jig a whole lot, we're gonna cast out, and that tends to also produce more fish. They have a lot of pressure in some of these areas from fishermen, mm -hmm. and vertical jigging is the number one thing with the jig in the middle. We're gonna cast plastics, and we're gonna get away from the big pods and hopefully catch some big slabs. That is the plan. I'm, we're marking huge pods right now. So there's fish here. This is good. This is good. Certain grab ultra lights. Let's go. What do you got there? I don't know. Ooh, that thing's putting up a little bit of Feels a Feels a little bit better, yeah. Ooh, that's a nice ooh, one. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm coming with the net. I'm gonna bring him over. Just because I like big slaps. All right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Probably didn't need to net him, no, but. No, well, but you never know. No, you, you never know. I've seen oh, you. with me, just with yes, me. Yes, I've okay. seen you try to swing bigger fish, hon, yeah. and that's kind of sometimes a debacle. It is a debacle sometimes. Let's Whoa, we got really light line. Crappy That fishing. is a nice crappie. That is a dandy fish. Look at that. Hey, yeah. we're a tamarack catching big fish again. I love it. <laughs> That's oh, a really good one. Double. We got Ooh, dubs. We got, we got dubs. dubs. Should I hold on to mine for a second then? Uh, you know what? I wish, you'd, I wish you wouldn't because... Yours isn't big. Yeah, no, it's not huge. It's not a bad fish. Oh, let's show them off together. I mean, we're That's just getting started tiny. here. No, oh, but I'll, I'll let you yeah. have it. That's, you can have the big one there. I'm having <laughs> right. fun though. We got doubles on slabs. Mm, there's one. Heard a fish. Ooh. That's a decent one. Yeah, that's a good crappie right there. Are you gonna grab it? I'm gonna grab him. I, I can see where I got him hooked. He jumped. <laughs> the tamarack slabs are jumping. You know what I say? I got a good hook set. Don't be surprised if he comes off. Get your, there. yeah, I was like, oh, get that's him. That's a good fish right there. 
right in the top jaw. I had him hooked perfect. There you go. There you go, just like that. I love it. I love it. Oh, that is a nice one. Yeah, wow. Very nice fish. Happy with that one. There you go. Ooh, 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 ooh. That feels a little what you got going? bit better. You know what? Whoa. I really admire your hook sets. Thanks. You're like way up tall. Yeah. Is that a big fish? Uh, it's yeah. a big crappie. That's a big slab. You got him or do you want me? Well, I'm gonna. You're gonna, you're gonna, okay. You don't even need a neck guy anymore. Look at, you've no. advanced so far, you don't even need me. There we go. That's a really nice fish there. <laughs> um, I think my bait was laying off in the bottom was and it? I just popped it up God, and he hit it. They are. So that's kind of why my hook set was so that's intense, thick, I guess. Thick and I really, I really had a hook set on uh, Ooh. They grow big here. I gotta grind my teeth to get the hook set. What do you want there? there? You want pliers? Yeah, I, I guess. I got you. Oh, no, I got you it. Got popped it, okay. it right okay. out. Okay. Look at that. Okay. That's a nice fish. Popped there. it right nice out job. after five minutes, but you know. Big slab. <laughs> oh, fun. I like that. I like it too. Not quite jealous yet. It's early, but if you keep slamming them like that. Yeah. You cast out on that yeah, one too, huh? Yeah, that was way out there. He actually hit it on the first one. You can watch your, watch the line. The braid is really nice. You can feel it happen. It's not a bad fish. If this is a crappie, it's a good one. Do you want the net? Um, oh, that's a good fish right there. I don't know how good I got him. Oh, I don't have him good. I can see at the very tip of his paper mouth. This is going to be a questionable swing. You ready for this? Maybe you shouldn't swing him then. That's a big fish. You got dubs. Right, That's dubs. what we're after right there. That is a thick, solid crappie. Sarah's got one going too. Starting to have fun. Oh. Big fish? Oh, uh, no. Not huge, but not decent. Huge. Where's he at? Get him up here. Mine this, is. That's a, this is nice. Inhaled it. And. The Pop nice thing about there. this whole deal is that there are no shortage of fish around us. We talk about Tamarack all the time, how fish dense area it is. Yes. <laughs> when it comes to crappies, they have this is the screen crazy. is just lit up like a Christmas tree down there, full slab. I'm gonna get my back to the fish right here. Winner. Oh, that was quite the hook set. Yeah, that was. That was way out there. I felt like that was you like trying out for. The crappie Olympics. I, yeah, I don't know. That was really like. Uh, you we have done your uh, Zoolander pose. I there. should have. Uh, it's not a bad fish. We we've talked a lot. Every episode we get into our rods, but and it's with good reason because KCR Kramer Custom Rods are the best rods we Sarah and I have ever used. We use a lot of different types of rods, different brands, and this is not. This isn't going to win any awards right here for the biggest crappie, but you know what? It's another quality it's fish. It's a nice fish, yeah. And. One of the things we talk about with Kramer Custom Rods a lot is getting linked on our cast. And I think that's a really big deal. I think it's a huge deal. Yeah, when you're fishing away from the boat, especially in this situation where you have quite a few fish in the area and you have quite a few fishermen, there's six boats to our right here where the place is chock full. You gotta get away from the boat. Those fish are used to the boats being on top of them and it spooks those bigger fish, the more educated fish. And so having that seven foot long ultralight Phenomenal casting ability, right? Yeah, the other I can't thing believe is, how, fa fa how far I can how cast far you can cast that little, little especially in this wind. That yeah. little 116th ounce jig, you're able yeah. to whip it out there. Yeah, I'm using the eight, so it's obviously easier. But getting hook sets on smaller fish, I mean, we're talking 12, 13 inch fish, feeling that bite, getting the hook set with the wind. Some of these casts are 40, 50 feet away from the boat. So having a good rod that's long enough, sensitive enough, and got enough backbone down here in the butt. It's getting the job done on a lot of these crappies and it's, it's so crucial to have the proper equipment. I remember back in the day when I started with just a medium light rod as my general purpose rod, we'll say, uh -huh. to see if I was gonna actually get into fishing. And I remember Tyler would have a stack of rods and uh, he'd be able to cast out farther than I could. And it was extremely frustrating for me to be in the boat with somebody and watch Tyler be able to catch more fish just Extract because he could get on top of them. At a high pace. And I struggled That's and, typical and now, Oh wow. And and now to be able to have casting ability yeah. and to be able to feel all these, you know, they're called paper mouse for a reason, to feel all those hits. Yep. You know, it's it's gonna put more fish in your boat. There's no doubt about it. Not big. Two. Mm. Oh. Getting a little bigger as we get closer to the boat. 
I have not seen him yet. Oh, that, oh, that's a nice one. That's a good one. I did not think this that's was a big fish. That's a good fish. fish. It is. Uh, that's the way it goes with crappies, though. Yeah. Sometimes that's a really, really, <laughs> I really thought it was a small one. Nice crappie, Sarah. Wow. And uh, and then as he got closer to the boat, yeah, he started to give me a little bit. That's more what we're after right there. Of a fight. Think of beauty. That is nice a nice job. one. That's a beautiful fish. I love it. The Rumble Bug from Northland Tackle. This snack-sized powerhouse with its tight action and reliable tracking, high-quality balsa body with through-wire construction, gives you longer casts and unmatched durability. Northland Tackle. We are walleye. This segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Northland Fishing Tackle. Plan your next fishing trip at northlandtackle.com. Now you told me last time. I know. That I'm not gonna say anything about the. You told size. me last time it was I a huge know. one. Well, I get excited. They're big slabs. My favorite. <laughs> that wind is getting gnarly. Yes, it is. Picked up a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Ooh, that ain't a bad fish right there, though. That ain't a bad slabber. No, I haven't seen it. That yet. ain't a bad fish. Come here, buddy. Oh, he's not hooked the best. Ooh. Yeah, that, that ain't a, a bad nice one. one. Yeah. Big old dinner yeah. plate. You might want to grab him. I got him. I got him. <laughs> Don't worry. Fish, huh? Nice. Pretty. Uh, that wind, I bulked up my rig gumball minnow a little bit. I'm going eighth, and that's helping me feel a lot better because I mean, we got 15, 20 mile an hour gusts today. And a big thing is being able to feel the fish hit, but you also want to feel your bait all the time. So it's still, you know, for a one eighth, it's not huge. As far as the skirt goes, about what, two and a half inches? I think that's perfect size. I'm a big believer in the minnow, the minnow shape. That's kind of a pintail, I call that, or a fluke tail where it's split. I prefer those for crappies over the, the paddle tail, a boot tail, or even a twister tail. I just like that. I like that look. I have a lot of confidence in that bait. But the 1 8 I like a lot better. Sarah's using a 16th, which is perfect. I mean, as far as crappie goes, 1 16th, you can't beat. But when you got this wind, and we're fishing anywhere. We've caught some in 17, and right now we're in 22. So a little deeper water. I like that little heavier, heavier jig head. Feel my bait a lot better, especially how we're fishing away from the boat. That's crucial. Constant contact with the bait. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's I'm sure helpful with the wind. I Very helpful. What's happening on that side of the boat? I got fish. I like when they wallop. What do you, you got? So you got one too? I, yeah. We're gonna go Ooh, ahead mine's, and mine's dece. Two dubs. Mine feels good. Does it? We got two it's dandies decent. here? Yeah. Oh, a lot of good head shakes God, over they, here. They got good shoulders on them. Yeah. How's yours looking? I haven't seen it yet. Oh, really? here it comes. Oh, it's nice. It's Ooh, a nice one. a good one. one. Wow. Get them up here. Mm -hmm. We got dubs again, hon. Whoa. We get constant dubs almost Look seems here, doesn't it? Well, I mean, it's not <laughs> unheard of, that's for sure. There's uh, so many fish down there. Phenomenal the hook set. The screen is lit up like a Christmas tree. Yeah, there are a lot of fish. I got mine. I'll bring mine to you because. That's all right. Mine, I got mine off. You got yours off? Yeah. You got me again on size. Oh, well, it happens. We're catching a lot of fish, so that's what it's all about. That's what, when you come up to Canada, especially, you want to catch fish. Action oriented, Action -oriented. absolutely. I'm going to need to play it. And when you come to Tamarack, I put it away. So you it's... can expect to catch a lot of fish. And the cool thing about it is, you know, we do smallies. We do musky episodes here. We catch a ton of walleyes. Uh, we've caught some really huge big perch. I'm gonna put my fish back. You can put your fish back, but it's awesome to come out and have a variety of stuff and catch a bunch of big crappies too. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Todd's got a little bit of everything. I kinda like it. You know what this guy looks like? A little bit, like a Cheeto. Would you eat him? Ooh. If I was a crappie, I'd eat that Cheeto, yeah. Oh. Right. Actually, that color is Sunrise. Delicious. Just to let you know. Oh. Sunrise. But what do you here. think about these? Yeah, so I am, I'm putting more fish in the boat than you are. You're catching yeah. a lot. We talked about these, about these a lot today, kind of already, but uh, Northland, these are part of their new pre-rigged 
Yes, they are. Yeah, they have a new pre-rigged series. of soft plastic. New gumball jig head series. Uh, they come pre-rigged. They have three different soft plastics that you can choose yep. from. And we have the minnow body. Crappies just like minnows. They do, they do. And I talked about why we like to use the, I call this pintail, but the minnow type body is because it's kind of effortless. You don't have to, like the grub tail, a paddle tail, boot tail, something like that. You have to have constant movement yeah, with mm -hmm. it. You got to get that vibration uh, going. Yep. This, if we want to finesse it, we can. If we want to work it fast, we can. It's, or just let it fall. Or let it fall, dead mm -hmm. stick, whatever. And I think that's key when you're fishing pressured fish. Yes. You're fishing a lot of fish in tight areas like these pods that we're seeing and then the big ones are kind of right underneath mm -hmm. them. So you get down there quick and as that falls, that's all the action there is. It's already built in. You yes. don't have to rip it through to and get that tail spin. Also, it like matches that. the hatch. We don't have any live bait in the boat. Nope. So Just we don't plastics. have to worry about running out live bait. Yep. We don't have to worry about killing our minnows as we cast them out. Yeah, and I want to talk about one more thing. This bait, I mean, I've caught at least 50 crappie so far, easily. I have 50 more. Same soft plastic body, so they're durable. This thing is holding up. Yeah, they, pretty good. We're catching phenomenal. a lot of fish on one skirt. And the cool thing about these is you go, you go buy them, and you're ready to go. I've you talked take them about out, tie that them before. On, yep. Catch fish. Take them out of the package, take out, tie on, yep. catch fish. That's what that's what these are designed for. And most, I think, some more accomplished anglers might think, well, that's too easy, that's too simple. Yeah. But it's for us simpletons. Doesn't matter. On Sportsman's Journal, <laughs> no. we like easy. Easy. We like catching easy fish. We're showing you guys. We like lures that work easy. These new baits yeah. are working. I like it. I'm going with the 1/8th. You stick to the 1/16th. We'll you keep talking about your bait. Fish. I'm going to go catch more. All right. I think I'm going to dominate you right here. Fish on. Catching slabs. A lot of head shakes on this one. It's going crazy. Yeah. All excited about Do the, the old crappie minnows shake. trying to eat. I gotta get it in me before the eagle comes down and gets them. Yeah, if he oh breaks my. the surface out there. Now we're talking oh, slabs okay. here. Yeah. You want me to get the net? No, I got I'm it. gonna bring them right to me. They oh. kind of they're giving up the ghost as they get close to me. That's a nice but one. But that right there is what we're looking for. That right there is a big slab. That's a good fish. Yeah, that's wow. a good fish right there. That, that's what we're after. That's a good one. I like that. Barely had him pinned. Oh. Yeah, but, you should have let me net him. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> exactly with what we're saying. As soon as you get under the boat, you're getting dinks. You got to get away from the boat. That's why we're making these casts. And the My nice, last one wasn't the other, thing. The other thing about the pre-rigged minnow that we're using is it doesn't have a lot of arms. It doesn't have a big, thick tail. So it sinks super fast. And that's really important when you're fishing the deep water and in the wind. Helps you out a lot, but that's a good crappie right there. I like that guy. Wow. And that's tough. Ooh, there's a little bit more fight to this. Mm -hmm. Once I reeled back down to him. You felt a little bit of meat? I did, meat. but you never know. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, yeah, that is a good one. Whoa! Don't lose him. He just rammed into the boat. Did he? Ramming speed. Oh my goodness. He's really trying to free himself. I just missed Jeez. one too. He's the, he's the best fighting fish I've had all day. And look at that, and it's a really good one. <laughs> nice job, Sarah. He went crazy at the boat. That's a great fish. He rammed into the boat. I couldn't grab him. You My need hand. pliers or you got him? No, I think I got him, but I had a good hook set there on the top of his. Just look at that. There. They're all beautiful. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get one with you here. And you got a dubs too. Oh, I do. You know what, I'm gonna dip mine. Dip yours, you wanna get you a dub pick? Yeah, you can, okay. you can uh, Let's see what we got here. Bring your mine feels pretty then. good too, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. It's a good fish. Not quite as big as yours, huh? No. No, but you know what? We talk about this all the time, too. Sarah and I, we like to catch quality. What do you got? Over quantity a lot of times. Oh, yeah. And today's a little bit of both. Really, two, two nice ones, but you got me, dog. You know, uh, these are probably maybe a year apart year class. And yeah. that, different year classes, mm -hmm. they're all congregated together. That says fall. Yeah, right. It's time to eat. Yeah, yours is a nice fish. Behind the rig. Ooh, he's up here already. Isn't it? Must have been just under the No, rig. it's a dandy. It's a dandy. You want me to get the net? Um, I think I can swing him in. You always Let's say see. that. Yeah, I know. This is a really good one. Wow. Don't I'm excited that. to get him aboard. Come here. Yes. Oh, cool. Look wow. That. that is a good that fish. That is a good one. Oh, man. He couldn't resist that minnow. No. They are loving the rig gumball minnow. I love it. I can't. I can't say it enough. <laughs> I just love catching big slab crappies. That is a 
You like muskies, I get it. Big big fish teeth. Yeah. You know, 50 Adrenaline inches, 30 run. pounds, I get it. Yeah. But I like big slab crappies. It's because they can eat a variety of stuff. I think that's why. You love little stuff, big stuff, cranks, jerk yeah, baits, soft plastics, crappies. live bait. It's fun. Well, the sun is setting. I know it is. And then we're coming to the end of a fantastic day, which yeah. is kind of sad. The good news is we get to head in and we get to hang out in the lodge with the Hackle family. We do. That's always a highlight. Besides the fishing, hanging out with the Hackles yeah. is a fun time. In fall, the sun sets a little bit earlier, so yep. you get a little bit you more You get of that more Hackle time. time. Yeah. It's, yeah, <laughs> we're gonna get all sorts of time. It's six o'clock, so we're gonna get tons of Hackle family time. But that's why we like coming to Tamarack. It's just not that the fishing is phenomenal. Which it is. It's that the company is even better, and that's what makes it but if you, great memories. If you're looking for a fall fishing adventure yep. and you want action-oriented fishing as well as trophy opportunity, you know, check out Tamarack Island on Lake of the Woods. The, yep. I, we went very few casts without fish today. It was, it's crazy. It's unbelievable, the amount of fish that are in here. We caught them between four inches all the way up to 13 inches. Yep. So you know that the future's bright. Big variety. Yeah, for <laughs> this crappie population that, that Tamarack offers. So there's gonna be fish for the future and that's awesome to know. And we'll be back many times, I'm sure. We will. And the rig gumball jigs did oh, phenomenal. Yes, yes, the um, Orkland's new stuff. Really performed well. We were able to cast away from the boat. Crappies love it. They do. Caught a lot of fish today. Yeah. And the cool thing is, is that Tamarack on Lake of the Woods, Todd's open pretty much one of the latest, isn't he? As far Stays as open. I am aware, yes. He's he he'll stay into uh, late October, maybe even early November. Right. We, like we talked about, he does hunt, so he's open for deer hunt. So he'd love to fill in some cabins with 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 anglers. And they offer guides, they offer American plan. So anything that that can fit into your needs yep. for fall fishing, check him out. Tamarack Island Wilderness Lodge. It is a great trip. It's great fishing. We can't stress it enough. No. Everybody, we hope you enjoyed it. If you get a chance, go to Tamarack, catch a lot of fish like we do. Everybody, thanks for watching Sportsman Journal. We'll see you next week.